We're married. Of course I'm always right. I'm Dalton. I probably have autism. I'm gonna go to the gym now. Same, man. I mean, same. Hello, fellow autists. How you guys doing? Welcome back to BS with Braden Sorb. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you are, that's great. If you're not, I'll pray that it gets better for you. Uh, a couple of you have been liking the Take Steroids shirt. They're linked in the bio for those of you who are interested. We're gonna be talking a little bit about gym stuff today. And uh, yeah, so before we get into the video, if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, it would really mean a lot to me. I'd really appreciate it with the algorithm. And so thank you in advance. Oh no, you're totally good. Do you see how easy it is to be nice, dude? It's really like, oh, the guy didn't notice the camera right away, and then he did, and he apologized for it, because he didn't, obviously isn't intentionally jumping into the frame. But so many people get so upset over over people walking in front of their frame. You don't own the gym. It's not it's not your personal gym, and if it is, that's when you can get mad. But other than that, you're a paying customer, just like everybody else in there. So share the space, dude. Obviously, have respect for the people around you in the space, because you don't want to take you know eight dumbbells and, and create a circle around yourself and just just hoard everything that's not appropriate either but in terms of recording and stuff you're you're setting up a camera you're setting up like that is going to get in the way of other people's workouts so be courteous it doesn't cost you anything i've seen so many people who just get mad and they just get pressed about it when when someone walks in front of their frame as if they're you know sebum and they just ruined a million dollar deal that they had like calm down it's not that serious just everyone's going almost everyone is going to the gym for the same reason and that would be to better themselves you know some go for attention but we'll get we'll get into that later he's gonna lift his camera up you gonna take a quick snapchat with the fin yep with the finger and put it right back down when I was not looking, of course, because that's what predators do. Just want to give an update from this video the other day where this woman falsely accused this man of taking a photo of her at the gym, then proceeds to call him a predator and even threatens to put him in the hospital. Luckily, a friend of his that serves with him in the Navy recognized him and reached out to me. He let me know that this man doesn't even have Instagram. He only has Facebook. So we sent him the video. He was very, very upset by this and explained that he wasn't taking a photo of her. He was actually taking a screenshot to send to his wife, who was also very, very upset, which actually makes sense because if you watch the video, you can see his middle finger and thumb actually squeeze the phone. I let him know that if he wanted to take legal action, that one of my lawyers, Shaheen Namui, would handle it for him. He said he would let me know. Also spoke to this gym, Choose Fitness. They were incredible. They immediately removed this woman from the gym, rightly so, and they gave this man a free gym membership. Dude, I love Joey Spool. He's such a great guy. Oh, man. All the comments on this video were even saying, like, Shrek really thought that he would be taking a photo of her or, you know, we don't need G.I. Jane. All I know is people's egos are really out of control. They need to get checked. So it's a good thing that the gym banned her because what she did is unacceptable. This girl calling him a predator with an unfounded and, and unbased accusation is the most ridiculous thing. I mean, that is not something that you say lightly. It also detracts from when women actually go through that where men are creeping on them. This guy took a screenshot to send to his wife. He doesn't even have social media. You know nothing about him. And because you saw his phone like this, you assume, oh, he's filming my ass. Clearly he's a predator. I'm gonna beat him up. Nobody is looking at you and going, man, I'm really attracted to that pug. <laughs> Just, ah. It pisses me off because it makes real cases with real victims less meaningful people don't take them as serious because of people like this it's absurd can i just ask one question why that's not a workout oh why dude i'm pretty sure joey swole made a video about her too um I just, I don't have it. Why are you doing that? Don't, don't do that. Please don't do that anymore. That's disgusting. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. There's so many jokes I can make, but I'm not going to. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be zen. I'm just going to be relaxed. But don't do that, please. Just, just don't. There are other ways to work out. That, that's not one of them. That's not one of them. Please don't film yourself doing that in a public place. Do, do it at home and don't record it. We need gyms to institute a no recording 
<laughs> like, uh, ugh, ugh, ugh. I was just trying to work out when this happens. What am I waiting for? Never met this guy, and he's been harassing me for months. This time, I kept my headphones in and tried to ignore him. What is he doing? Don't come here. No, that's an actual case of someone being harassed. What? Nah. No, you do not go up and touch people, especially when they're doing a set. That is, that is, wow, you don't do that. That's not okay. None of that's okay. If I need something from someone at the gym and they're like on the machine, the most I will do is like a, like I'll tap them on the shoulder or I'll wave in front of their face and I'll be like, hey, how many sets do you have? You do not go up and touch strangers, especially people in the middle of a workout. See, you, you wanna call someone like that a, a pervert, a creep, all those things. The guy comes up out of nowhere, he's trying to talk. I think I heard the word something about like, be my girlfriend or, or something. And then he walks away, decides, no, I haven't done enough. And he turns back around and goes and touches. You don't do that. That's not appropriate. That is not what the, I can't believe that people are actually like this. I want videos like this to be exposed because it's real, because this is actually happening. I don't want videos of some random dude who's sitting on his phone like this, and he's just like looking at his phone and it looks like he's filming so you call him a pervert and threaten to beat him up. That's not okay and it detracts from actual victims. So when this girl posts this video of an actual harassment, people are less likely to believe her because there's so many videos of people crying wolf, right? Like they're going, oh my gosh, look, I'm being harassed. And it's just a guy minding his own business and he's just like looking around every once in a while. This guy is a creep who went up and he touched her without permission. If you're in the gym and someone is harassing you, pull your camera out and film, without a doubt, please. Please put it on social media and blast them. Give it to the employees, have them get banned from the gym. Like, that is unacceptable behavior. He needs to do better. He needs to be better. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching BS with Braden Sorbo. I hope you liked that episode. If you did, please subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and remember to like this video. You can also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat. So until next time, see ya.